Off I went, recalled speed skiing champion Steve McKinney of his first world record setting run in 1974. A few harsh moments over the top bumps. Then into the fearful yet strangely comfortable current, I discovered the middle path of stillness within speed, calmness within fear, and I held it longer and quieter than ever before. Steve McKinney was larger than life. A six foot four inch Viking warrior, he would become known as the high priest of speed skiing, steering the sport out of the shadows and into the spotlight. Philosophical, adventurous, charismatic, and slightly mysterious, he thoroughly dominated speed skiing in the 1970s and 80s, setting seven world records and becoming the first human to break the 120 mile per hour and 200 kilometer per hour barrier on skis. Diagnosed with rheumatic fever at 15, Steve was told he'd never participate in sports. The doctors were wrong. Growing up skiing around Lake Tahoe, the fourth child in the famous McKinney skiing clan, Steve advanced to the U.S. ski team as a downhill specialist in 1971. Independent-minded, he clashed with authorities and left the team in 1973. Introduced to speed skiing by climbing partner, mentor, and former world record holder Dick Dorworth, McKinney finally found his calling. Winning his first race in 1974 with a kit borrowed from a former Italian champion at the Kilometro Lanciato in Cervinia, Italy. In 1977 in Portillo, Chile, he became the first to surpass the 120 mile per hour barrier. The next season, on the same track, he blew by the 200 kilometer per hour mark and in 1987 set his last world record. McKinney drove innovation in the sport, introducing rubberized speed suits, the aerodynamic trout head helmet, and with duct tape and cardboard, do-it-yourself fairings to reduce wind drag on his boots. McKinney led the charge to create the first professional speed skiing association and to gain FIS sanction which led to the sport's brief inclusion as a demonstration sport in the 1992 Alberville Olympics. Though in the end, the IOC deemed it too dangerous. Besides his speed skiing accomplishments, McKinney was an accomplished mountaineer and the first person to hang glide off Mount Everest, soaring from the 22,000 foot West Ridge in 1986. Steve McKinney died too soon in a roadside car accident on November 10th, 1990, on his way to a business meeting in San Francisco. His half-sister Tamara, the first U.S. skier to win the overall World Cup title and also a member of the Hall of Fame, says it best. Steve had the confidence of a king and the personality of a fun-loving sage. He was the man in answering the question that occurs to every person who has ever put on skis. How fast can I go? For his record-setting career and indelible mark he left on speed skiing and mountain culture, Steve McKinney earns a place in the U.S. Ski and Snowboard Hall of Fame. What else is there to do but follow your dreams, you know?